I realized that there's so many people that are my age that are university students as well that are extremely uneducated about black history as well as racial issues and it's frankly disappointing. The second year Ryerson student says she was shocked to see the lack of knowledge when it came to black and indigenous history amongst her peers. That pushed her to create a petition demanding the Ontario government to update the current curriculum to include black history courses educating students on racial issues. So we can find a way to change the education that the future generations can get so then they don't end up being like people my age who a majority of the people that I know were uneducated and confused about a lot of different topics like microaggressions. It's harmful to these communities that people are uneducated about and no one is actively trying to learn. Natasha Henry, president of the Ontario Black History Society, says this petition has been sparked by ongoing conversations speaking out against anti-black racism and systemic racism. Henry believes the lack of a complete curriculum focusing on black history being taught has been a long-standing issue. Definitely say that a high percentage of students have learned about Canada's role in the Underground Railroad. That's uh, a part of our national narrative that is readily embraced. Uh, as for other uh, exp historical experiences of black Canadians as it relates to either uh, systemic racism or even just uh, experiences of black life in general, those numbers again, I think would be much lower. Henry says the Ontario Black History of Society and parents of black students have been advocating for these changes for years and both black students and non-black students will benefit from this updated curriculum. For black students in particular, you know, the opportunities to learn about, to see, you see yourself, um, that the range and diversity of your cultures represented in the curriculum is important for helping to build a positive sense of self. And so for non-Black students, it's a way for them to be educated, to become anti-racist, for them to challenge and disrupt systems. Um, and so that we're producing a future generation of people who will address these issues and will have no question around whether or not systems systemic racism exists. Currently, the petition is at more than 120,000 signatures, and you can find a link that contains more information on our website, citynews.ca slash extras. Brandon Rose, City News.